if you have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of employees and you send out a bunch of emails and maybe it's bonus season and you get an email saying, here's your information on your bonus, click here. Somebody in a company is probably going to be really excited about seeing how much money they're about to make this year and click on the link and then it's too late already. So in this specific incident, the exploit occurred through an impact on a third party vendor safe wallet that was being utilized by Bit, which ultimately made it look on the surface like a transfer from a cold storage wallet to a warm wallet. And it ended up that the funds got exploited out to a wallet controlled by North Korea without the awareness of those doing the signing on the Bybit side. That being said, this is obviously a, a unique method using the third party vendor as the access point for the exploit. But North Korea and the Lazarus Group have always used varying forms of social engineering in order to gain access to whoever they're looking to exploit. So whether it's sending a phishing email or to apply malware, getting in the back door through IT remote employees, whatever it might be, the techniques are always evolving. And I think this is just a trend that you see with North Korea for decades. They are a nation that is heavily sanctioned. They don't have a lot of value in exports. They don't have a lot of international trade partners. So their real way of making money has always come through unique ways of evading sanctions. And so exploiting the crypto and Web3 ecosystem is just the newest of those techniques. And they're going to continue to get more advanced and more technically creative in the way that they do it. Every time one of these hacks occurs, the industry has a game plan, a blueprint to improve their security measures, right? Mm -hmm. However, as they improve their security measures, North Korea and the Lazarus Group will look to find a different way. And I think some of it is just a matter of a pure volume play. 